it's an easy way to help improve your overall health. Instead of the elevator, think about the stairs. WAD's Karis Eisert joins us now with this simple task that a huge challenge for a local woman that she eventually overcame. Good morning, Karen. Yeah, good morning, Nikki. A Springfield woman for her taking the stairs was the kind of the least of her concerns. She had problems even standing without oxygen, but with the help of doctors and the American Lung Association, Mary is breathing a little easier today. I didn't want to be here. I didn't want to be around people. In 2017, Mary Cohen almost gave up. I wasn't even able to climb stairs. Like I was saying, I tried to do yoga, which is just standing and stretching. I couldn't do that without oxygen. Diagnosed with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, Mary needed help. And it wasn't something that happened overnight. It gradually happened. So I started having to go to the doctors a lot. I was sick all the time. And she got the help she needed with doctors in town with the lung volume reduction surgery and support from the American Lung Association. I mean, to go from not even being able to do a simple yoga pose without oxygen to, you know, climbing 500 plus steps, that's an amazing accomplishment. And we know that there are a lot more like her um, who have had lung disease, lung issues, and they go for it because, you know, they want to take that into their own hands. After her surgery, Mary got stronger and was able to climb the stairs and breathe a little easier. It's like I, I'd been given a new chance, a new chance at life, and I had been told it was up to you. So you're able to help someone like Mary here coming up in February. So the fight for air climb happening at the Wyndham Springfield City, City Center on February the 16th. Now registration is open for that up until that date, but it's only $15 until this Friday. Then that registration will go up. But the fight for air climb is through the American Lung Association, and you're able to find more information about that climb and about resources they have on our website, WANDTV.com.